Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Cork, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. I have a small but mighty unboxing to share with you today and one that I'm very excited about. I know I say that every time, but I'm always excited about everything that I box in this channel because I buy these things because I love them. So that, you know, I'm excited and I'm always going to be excited for the most part. It is a wishlist item and it has been on the last two and I've only done two wishlist videos on my channel. So it's been on both of my wishlist videos that have been on my channel. So if you've seen either of those videos, you might have an idea of what this could be based on the size and shape of the box and the fact that it is a Chanel box. I haven't seen this item since it was packaged up for me in the boutique. I brought it home and kept it in its box, in the wrapping, in its bag, in my closet until I had time to sit down and film it for you. And so I'm going to just continue unboxing it without any further fanfare because I'm just so excited to see it again and touch it again. And that is another hint. I'm excited to touch it. If you have any ideas of what this item might be, please feel free to leave a comment down below and give me your guess. But again, I'm going to just unbox it now without any further ado. Let's take off the camellia. This is again the, the hard camellia that they're doing now. Let's just set that to the side upside down, that's fine. Pull off the ribbon. There's the little care card and my receipts in the bag. Okay, and here it is. Here's the dust bag. As probably you know by now, there's little Chanel embossed in it and I'm sure you can tell what this is going to be. It has, there's very little idea of what else it might be, but you know, in terms of color, design, style. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. Okay, so. <laughs> This is the classic flat card holder in the very classic Chanel gold hardware and black lambskin. It is possibly a boring choice, but I knew that going in and I wanted this item for a very specific reason. That specific reason is because I am very, very silly, but that is neither here nor there. I'm very aware of myself. What is that reason you might ask? Well, as I have professed many times in this channel, I am a leather nerd and I love Chanel leather, specifically Chanel lambskin. I even have a series that I've started about the ins and outs of different types of leathers. I'll link some of the videos for you above and below, but really the bottom line is I love different kinds of leathers. I love their feel. I love their touch. I love learning about them. And I don't have very many modern Chanel lambskin pieces. Most of my Chanel lambskin pieces are vintage and that's fine. I love Chanel vintage quality. Chanel vintage lambskin is gorgeous for a number of reasons and I'm going to cover that in a video very soon, I promise. But I wanted, I wanted a small Chanel piece that I could age myself. I wanted a modern day Chanel lambskin piece and an SLG specifically. I wanted a small piece that I could age myself and patina myself over a period of years and years and years. Is that incredibly ridiculous? Yes, it is. Is I'm so aware that this is incredibly ridiculous, but that's, that's why I got this. I wanted to be able to age it myself. I think it's a beautiful piece. I will probably not really be using this. It's mostly for me to feel it over and over and age it myself. It sounds so silly, but I, I'm, will I use it? Possibly, I don't know, but it's mostly for me to touch it. It's mostly for me to touch it and give it its patina over time and have it become a vintage Chanel piece in my possession. Does that make sense? Possibly it doesn't. Do I care? No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very secure with myself in my own ridiculousness in terms of this. So as you might be able to see, the sticker is still on it. And I'm gonna just take that off now. We'll do it together. I do not leave the stickers on my hardware. It is not good for the hardware. It does lead to tarnishing and I'd rather have a few scratches than some tarnished hardware. So there you go. Sticker is removed now. And it's really pretty. It is interesting though. I will say that this lambskin, it's very soft but it does feel a little bit more treated than other modern lambskins I felt. And obviously the vintage lambskin, it feels very different. It's a different feeling type of lambskin. It's a little bit more robust feeling. It's a little bit more 
durable feeling like it almost feels like it's got kind of like a coating on it and that's interesting because I've touched other Chanel lambskin card holders in boutique that also were fairly recent and they didn't have this same sort of feel they were a little bit softer this is a little bit harder feeling than some of the pieces that I felt before. I did have my choice of two card holders in the boutique. I went in and kind of was just going to browse and then my essay was like, oh, we just got two of the card holders in, in black with gold hardware that you've been asking about for ages. And she brought them out to me. I picked this one of the two and I'm super happy. I, I'm, you know, I'm so lucky to have her as an essay. She's super kind. She's very understanding. And let's see here. So this is a Rev piece, as I think you probably know. That means that it is a piece that is made every single season. It's not a seasonal in any way. And it does come with an authenticity card because it is an SLG. And actually, this is a 32 series. I'm not sure what number they are currently at, but I feel like 32 is actually a little bit low. I feel like they've been on 33 now. So this is a 32 one. So it's actually an early 32 series. And I think they're on 33 now. Correct me if I'm wrong. If they're not on 33, I, I might be just wrong. <laughs> but I think 32, I, this might be a older card holder. Not that I care. Uh, just a fact. Even though this might start out as less soft as a lambskin, as opposed to some lambskins that are very, very soft to start, that might mean that this is a less delicate lambskin or that it has been treated slightly differently. But the nice thing about natural full grain leathers like lambskin, I mentioned full grain leathers in a previous video, I'll link it again for you. The thing about natural full grain lambskins or full grain leathers in general is they often start out stiffer, especially depending on how they're tanned. And then they do supple over time and develop a beautiful patina. And that's what all of my vintage bags have. And that's what I'm looking to achieve with this item. So yeah, just a very, very, very pleased and excited about it. This is made in Spain. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it is. Yeah, you have no idea what that says. It's made in Spain. It's got a burgundy interior and it is fabric lined on the inside. And then it just has a border of burgundy leather on the top inside part of the card holder. I'm so happy to finally get this piece. So happy. It's so beautiful. It's in immaculate condition. It came brand new in box. It had the sticker still on it, like it hadn't even been put out on the floor yet. So I'm really happy that my essay set it aside for me to let me see it and pick. And yeah, that is my little, possibly a little bit boring Chanel unboxing, but do I care? No, this isn't a boring piece to me. I'm really, really pleased to have it. And I'm so much looking forward to having it for a very long time and aging it and making more content about modern lambskin versus vintage lambskin, possibly. If that's something that you're interested in, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. In any case, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. I hope that you enjoyed sharing this with me because I certainly enjoyed sharing it with you. If you liked this video, please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.